Hi, this is Killer Reviews 97. Um, I've brought you a motherboard unboxing before. Hopefully, you like that one. I've now got another one since I uh, had to return my other ASRock. Uh, there's not much variety on YouTube containing this product. There is one guy who does a video of this, and um, I found it really helpful, and he was really nice to me. And I'd like to give a shout out to him. I'll put a link to his channel in the description because he helped me when I had a few questions um, about the board. Um, uh, specifically saying that I was actually quite worried display wise but anyways we'll get into it it's a Z87 G43 the high end chipset if you call it with Haswell support overclocking for K series processors is supported and this is the gaming series line of the MSI so it's not the N powers but it does use components that are commonly found in the N power boards such as the super ferrite chokes Super ferrite jokes, um, which is not described on the back of here, but will is on the on the website, which I'll put a link into a link in the description too, so you can go and have a look at the official specs. Uh, provides higher current at a lower temperature, uh, semi permeable membrane or something along those lines. But just a little bit of the specs there, you can have a look. This thing has got great onboard audio, the Realtek ALC one one five zero chip, which is the high end ALC the high-end Realtek chip um, and if you were to buy a sound card I would recommend that you try out the onboard audio first because I think it's going to live up to quite some high standards we've got military class 4 components as I described the super ferrite chokes which should allow for some mild overclocking uh, please be aware that this isn't the G45 or the GD65 higher-end motherboard so don't expect to get too much out of this although it does come packed with some great features such as audio boost uh, which give you high quality audio through EMI shielding now the actual motherboard itself is absolutely amazing like the guy said before it's got sort of um, the feel of it it's sort of outlined so it's it's like you can you can sort of feel the individual images themselves they're sort it's like a sort of perforated kind of feel it's really weird to describe you'll have to get one for yourself to try it out we've got the just game logo here and we will get in so we've got a nice plain black box and once again as most motherboard manufacturers that's my cat sorry do they tend to put the a put box inside of a box because there's just logic so we'll just pop the box to the side for a minute and uh, we'll just take a look at some of the accessories that come included with the box hopefully I'm not speaking too fast Camera's about to run out of battery. I just want to try and make sure that you get all the information possible in your time. We've got two SATA 6 gigabit per second right angled cables with the metal latches on them to make sure they are secure. And we have got a lovely high quality premium grade uh, G series badge that you could stick on to your case, uh, either on the front bezel or on the side, wherever you feel necessary. And um, it's sort of, it is a, it's a plasticky feel. There is some. There's no noticeable bend in it, so it's pretty high quality. We've also got our I.O. backplate, which provides uh, EMI shield. That was uh, my cat. EMI shielding. It's got a black, black layout, so you, your components should stand out. Not your components, sorry. The outputs on the back of the motherboard should stand out, allowing you to easily identify which ones that you need to uh, plug into. We've got a driver disc CD utility here by MSI. Probably use the latest ones on the website would be a better mark, a better, a better, uh, better decision to do. Quick installation guide, which uh, obviously is not that quick to open, but um, if you need me to go through that in another video, I will do so myself. Pretty lengthy manual here that we've been provided with, and just giving going over some of the well main features of the board. Battery is going. MSI total installer, brilliant piece of software. I recommend you use it. And last but not least, we've got our G series. I'm not here, or I'm busy gaming. Door hanger. Uh, hopefully, that will uh, you'll have a few fun nights with your new board. And now we'll get right onto the board. Hopefully, without smashing it along the way. It's a nice anti-static bag. I'm just going to ground myself by touching some metal. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, uh, <laughs> but uh, we've got like a nice board that you can just sort of flick down easy to work with here so pretty cool already great stuff by MSI there uh, we'll just pop this down to the side for two seconds whilst I remove it from its anti-static bag which is obviously important to making sure that the board doesn't get well number one doesn't get damaged during transport but also 
it doesn't get static, as the name suggests, anti-static. Right, onto the board itself. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. We'll go over the back, we can clearly see we've got some nice caps on there. PS2 combo port, 4 US, 6 USB 2.0 headers, our killer E22 chip would be on, is on there somewhere, but um, I can't really identify that for you such straight away. Two Ethernet, Ethernet 7.1 audio, we've got the highly, uh, well, the quite high-end Realtek chip under the audio boost, some solid black capacitors, and like before, we've got the Dragon-styled heat sinks, as well as the cap, we've got the JLPT1, which is for printed trusted platform mod module audio, uh, two USB front panels there, uh, which are clearly labelled, which is nice. We've got four sort of right angled SATA 6 gigabyte per 6 gigabyte connections, and two which are sort of leaning upright. We've got the MSI Dragon Style heatsink, which is aluminum, aluminium. We've got our USB 3, we've got five fan headers, one CPU fan header, and and the rest are the four um, CPU, no, case fan headers, which if you look at the circuitry are wired up to allow voltage control, so that should uh, bid quite well if the software permits uh, total fan control, which they do advertise. Uh, socket 1150, as I said before, Haswell chips only, and we have got, we have one BIOS UEFI, uh, 24 pin ideal location and the 8 pin as well. Now we also have the battery, I believe whatever they're called, the CRJ1s, whatever you call them, and that's all there. It's pretty much there. The audio capacitors for the Realtek ALC1150 is there as well, and an as media controller, which is possibly for, mm, I'd say for the PCI slots, but I wouldn't bank on that. Just have a little overall shot of the motherboard there, it is absolutely fantastic. It's a brown PCB, unfortunately not a black black one as um, many people are accustomed to seeing when they view these boards online. But uh, it seems as though it's a pretty, very mid-range, high performance board as I mentioned before the super ferrite chokes there. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a rundown of what the board offers and I should be bringing you a review. Hopefully if I get this running and don't mess this up, but we'll just give a shot. Now, some of the great features as well are the Surround Sound X, which are provided by MSI. If the video does cut out, I do thank you all for tuning, and I hope you've had a good look inside at the board and found it a very informal video. So we've got our 24-pin, as I mentioned before, on the MSI heatsink. That should do us for now, G43 there. Um, I can't remember if you can run an SLI, I'm not too sure because I think they run in 8x, 8x, or it's 8x, 4x, so I wouldn't bank on running dual graphics cards, two graphics cards, I would just go for a high-end single PCI occupying slot, and like I said before, mild overclock should do the trick, not too high, otherwise uh, it might not be able to cope, it is the G43 series, which is considerably lower than the rest, and it's definitely a board you would want to go, go for anyway. Thank you all for tuning, Killer Reviews 97, I should hopefully be bringing you a review. Sorry if I'm speaking fast, this battery is on the brink, been on the brink the whole time, and I hope I've provided you with an informal and high quality video of the unboxing of the MSI G43 gaming motherboard, clearly by MSI. So just give a little overshot of the box there as well. It is a beautiful board. Take care YouTube. Any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. I'll get to you straight away. Thank you.